Welcome back to the Gingium YouTube channel. Over the past two weeks, we've been rushing to finish my drift truck for the biggest drift event in the Southeast, Fall Double Down. Well, we finished the truck last night at 11.30 a.m. then drove three hours to the track. Unfortunately, when we got here, the gates were closed, but it's morning now, and it's time to drift. I guess welcome to fall double down year two. You have the drift truck unloaded. First order of operations is to go past tech. They actually have tech this year. It's kind of cool, also kind of nerve wracking. And then we just got to swap some tires on. Let's go, baby. Now that that's situated, I'm gonna make some breakfast. You know, admittedly, in the rush to get the truck done, might have forgotten a thing or two. No butter, no coffee. Thankfully, we're not in the middle of nowhere, so we can go get the stuff. But that's a perfectly done bagel right there. Are you doing a sandwich? That's yeah. weird, bro. That's weird. Hey, yeah, you want one? I you do. Whoa, whoa. There you go. Hey, yo. Let me snag this one. Yes, that's how you eat a bagel. Yeah, you separate them. Yeah. Sandwich or separate, guys? My water temp thing unplugged, that's annoying. I grabbed third, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna check the headers, check everything over, and uh, I mean, hey, for my first run, I'm pretty pumped with that. Yeah, that was a good run. It I felt pretty good. good. You did good driving. Woohoo! Good job, Drift Truck. So I'm just mixing up some gingium concoction here. What is this? We're all gonna take a little lick. Okay. And uh, let's first, just, let's first gonna one, say. First one to pass out and die. <laughs> No, to be honest, uh, my weld on the, the the bung on the valve cover is leaking, and the oil is going down the valve cover straight onto the header. This is gonna be Keegan's first time actually drifting. Did some donuts with Kirk, but now we're in the big boy vehicle. But real quick guys, I wanna take a moment to talk about this video sponsor, Bespoke Post. What is Bespoke Post? Well, Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering a box of awesome top shelf goods from under the radar brands. The awesome part about it is it's free to join and you can cancel any time. But what kind of stuff do they have? Bespoke Post has dozens of boxes to offer. They have outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and even more like live oysters. Each box will have a couple different products and 90% of the products come from small brands which are based right here in the United States. For instance, Terra, made by Bare Bones in Salt Lake City, and there are more examples, but the point is that every one of their products is a nice high quality piece that's not mass manufactured overseas. Now every one of Bespoke's Post's Box of Awesome has around $70 worth of products inside of it, but it costs you only a fraction of that price. Now when you join Bespoke Post, you'll fill out a little questionnaire based off that question 
questionnaire, bespoke posts will recommend different boxes. Now with that, you'll be able to preview the box before it's shipped out. So one, you can decide if you like it and you wanna keep it, or two, you can swap it out for a different box, or three, if you're not feeling it that month, you can just skip the month. You only pay for the boxes that you like. Speaking of which, personally, I love outdoor gear. So I got myself some more, more camping gear. This right here is their on tap box. Comes with this Ren insulated pitcher, so I can make a batch of coffee and it will stay warm all day. Drink it whenever I want. It also comes with two beautiful stainless steel cups. I also got their split box, which comes with this bare bones hatchet. And then I also got the parked box, which comes with two collapsible lightweight chairs. And these are gonna be great because they're small enough to really take backpacking even, but they're still really comfortable and still easy to set up and take down. So if you guys are interested in Bespoke Post and you want to get 20% off your first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter Gingium20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com forward slash Gingium20. Huge thank you again to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video, helping the truck get finished, and for all the awesome camping equipment. Decent. I'm definitely not smooth yet, but the truck's working pretty good. How's that? That was amazing. Yeah. It's crazy with this angle kit, like I feel like I'm gonna spin out and just Yeah, that's what I thought. Like every time you went to turn it felt like you were just gonna Yeah, spin out. yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh okay, this is what I need to do. Can you hold that for a second? <laughs> Fucking go, dude! This truck is so easy to drive now, it's awesome. <laughs> you know, the first couple of runs, I didn't know how the truck would work. I didn't know if it would drift well. I didn't, I didn't know any of those things, so I was taking it easy that way. Once I knew the truck was working, it was getting used to the angle kit. Because obviously I'm used to driving a pretty much stock angle truck, but with this angle kit, you've got so much more room for mistakes, but also you can just be on the throttle more, enter corners faster, all sorts of stuff. This next run is where I kind of finally had an entire smooth run. making smoke at all then we let off and then the smoke catches up like whoa where'd all that come from <laughs> and this is the first run i tried it in third gear instead of second gear <laughs> Let's 
fucking go, bro. <laughs> and it's not even at 200 degrees. So the truck is is doing better than I expected. Thoughts on your first ride ever? <laughs> um, roller coaster uh, with an in control roller coaster. For me, I think I think it was so fun. Like, like yeah, at first it's like I was scared, but then while you're while you're at it, it's just so calm and so fun. And so wait, wait. So Keegan wanted an E36. What did you say after that ride along? I don't know if I want an E36. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what what do you want instead? I want a drip truck. Hey! But there are some issues. For one, I ruined both my four-wheel drive fenders. Ruined. Clapped out. Look yeah, at this. That's clapped. I felt a, a binding at full lock, and I think I found my binding. Uh, this one's not ruined, ruined, but it definitely has a little dent in it. Uh, so we're going to try to find an angle grinder and cut those out. Secondly, I'm going to do a bolt check, because uh, I thought I did a bolt check, but uh, that ain't tight. The track owners are going to look at this video and be like, how did we allow that? <laughs> <laughs> that's a great question. Why did they, you? They tech, they tech did. Yeah, they did. Hey, yeah, that's working. JB Well, that's not cured. Let's go. But man, finally having a car that like makes smoke and like you lay in it on third and just the clap, it's so sick. And uh, yeah, it's doing freaking awesome. I'm, I'm so pumped. Self clearancing. I think I got everything fixed. I did lower the rear tire pressure quite a bit. I wanna hopefully get it gripped up, get a little bit faster in drift, because it looks pretty slow. Listen, I don't really know like how drifting works, but from the YouTube videos I've watched, people are always like, I wanna be fast in drift and gripped up and all that kind of stuff, so. Oh, yeah. Look at the hood, bro, look at the rest of the hood. I think I found the issue. It was definitely a little scary, but we lost it at a good time. I didn't go flying off the track or anything. Well, actually I did, but into a little pit stop. But more importantly, it is thankfully here, so I can record the part number, because I would hate to have to figure out what length it is. So we got the uh, belt replaced, put back together. Thankfully, I discovered the cause. No, like for this. See that hose clamp? That was rotated about 30 degrees and it was digging into the belt. It's nice that we know that there was a cause for the supercharger belt blowing off and it wasn't just random. Fortunately, with the design, you have to drain the coolant to get the belt off. But thankfully, got that Mishimoto liquid chill on deck. You know, it's crazy how much stuff Mishimoto makes. Mishimoto coupler, aluminum, filter, the exhaust is Mishimoto. Coolant Mishimoto. Mishimoto cases. And everything they make is amazing. Oh. Nope, not Mishimoto. Chili before. Chili after, boys.
did the bolt check on the front. The jam nuts, you didn't tighten any of the jam nuts. They were all loose. I did not tighten any of the jam nuts. <laughs> Once I started getting even more comfortable with the truck, I started to struggle with this corner right here because I was starting to get more angle and more speed on the slalom before it. And so coming into this hairpin, going fast with lots of angle, I was either having trouble getting it stuck at full lock, the steering, or honestly now watching the footage, I didn't get back onto the throttle soon enough. So that's kind of one of the cool things about filming yourself when you're learning how to drift. Sometimes you don't notice what you're doing wrong in the moment, you look back at the footage, boom, then you know. Sucks because I want to tandem, but like you can never get one clean run without having to slow down because someone, someone inevitably crashes or spins out. Ugh, that would have been such a sick run if I would have just gotten on throttle right then. I've gotten pretty good with the, the current setup and I'm starting to struggle more with the, the binding at full lock. I'm gonna play around with the front suspension. I think if I, I swap that around, 
and adjust this and pull the front wheel forward, it'll help. I don't know. I added some caster, but I also discovered that every single bolt was kind of loose. Not super loose, but kind of loose. And I know for sure that they were torqued, so I guess on these angle kits, you have to really crank shit down and maybe use Loctite. But let's uh, put it together and see what happens. Oh my god, that one's loose too. Jesus Christ. Literally everything's loose. That kind of also makes sense because it definitely felt like it was getting worse throughout the day. <laughs> I love how clean and simple that is. Like, not flashy colors. The drift truck's gonna look, well, not like that, but it's gonna be Someone clean. Like yeah, clean and understated. I could still feel it a little bit, but uh -huh. like before, when I hit full lock, I would have to yank it to get it out of full lock. Whereas there, I could just kind of with one hand pull it out. Man, I can't believe that this thing's doing so well for its first yeah. event. First event after rushing to finish it. Well, I'm pretty pumped that that made that better. Still not perfect. We wanted to take this thing to a professional alignment shop that has dealt with these fancy angle kits once everything else is done. But for now, I think we can continue ripping. But we did just pause for the dinner break. Do you know what that means? Gingium's classic dogs. Cheers. Messy. Fuck up. Well, the truck is all packed up, as you can tell. But drifting is still technically going on. I didn't bring enough tires. I didn't think this thing would make smoke. But here we are. In a short summary, I could not be more happy with the way the truck performed. The fact that we finished it that quickly, literally got it tuned at midnight the night before, and then drifted all weekend without really any major issues is insane. So proud of myself, so proud of the truck, so proud of all my friends for helping. But for now, let's go home. So that is it. The first drift event was a huge success and the fact that it didn't have a single real issue is absolutely incredible. Now with that being said, there are things we can improve. So the plan is to fix the binding at full lock and, and do a legit alignment, cut out the drive shaft tunnel so we can lower the truck more, and get it looking good. Once that's all done, we'll take it to another drift event at a very special local track. Thank you guys so much for watching and all the support on these last videos. I really appreciate it. If you wanna watch the next video ahead of schedule, you can become a patron and watch it over there. Also, if you're interested in bespoke posts, check them out. I'll see you guys in the next one.